Are you ready for another fucking adventure? It's me, Woke here with another uh, gotcha video. This time it is Dracula Lost. Yes, and I'm also recording this super late at night, but I'm going to try and actually be a little bit louder than usual. Uh, mainly because I like it better when you guys can actually hear me as much as some people like ASMR Woke better, but whatever, I digress. Anyway, a uh, brand new banner is out. The Gala Banner. If you don't play uh, Dragalia Lost, Gala Banners are like Dokkan Fest exclusives, except for the rates are higher. I have the power so, to this time it's Gala Chloe. Gala units are exclusive to Gala Banners, and they're also extremely hard to get. Let me show you the appearance rate. For example, there are, I believe, five other Gala units. Yeah, there's Gala Mim, Gala Cerise, Gala Ranzel, um, and Gala... Gala Cleo was just recently added. I want to say there's one more. Isn't there one more? Am I crazy? Yes, I'm crazy. Okay, so those are the current four Gala units in the entire game. Um, and they're all in here. But as you can see here, all other Gala units have 0.080% chance of actually pulling. And the only one on read up is Cleo. So, it's very hard to get a Gala unit after their time has passed. So, I've saved up 100 tickets. And I'm going to be summoning for her now. So let's see if we can get uh, Gala Cleo in 100 tickets. All these tickets, by the way, are, of course, free to play. Uh, I'm also looking forward to... I'm going to skip a lot of these because a lot of these are going to be single tickets. If they get a hype animation going, then, you know, obviously I'll stop. Well, right around here is when you'll see if there's a hype animation. Oh. Nope. Next. Thank you, next. I have basically every single four and three in the game, so really I'm only looking for fives. And I'm going to be going for... I really don't need, especially with Summer being so close, I really don't need Gala Cleo. But I basically only save tickets for Gala Banners, because I... The Gala Banners are only here for like at most five days. Uh, not hype. That's uh, the opposite of the hype, sorry. They're only here for five days or so, so I don't like it when... Probably, and they're the best banners because they include all non-limited units at a rate up. So that means that if you... Really the best thing to do in Dragalia is to not summon on anything that doesn't have an exclusive unit. If the unit is exclu exclusive or the dragon is exclusive, then you should go ahead and summon on it. And you should have no problem summoning on it, you know? Um, so the way I usually play is that I try and save a lot of my stuff for either exclusive or a badly won. So Summer, for example, which is coming up, I don't know if any of them are going to be exclusive, but if they are, I'm going to try and get them at that one shot, because it's very hard to get an exclusive unit um, on a return. Uh, so for example, so they've actually been recently the Dark New Year's event dude actually came back recently, and uh, he was very good. Oh. Maybe this will be I saw birds flying. No, still nothing. That's the you know, last ticket. Um, he recently came back, but units like uh, Christmas Cleo and Halloween Elise never came back. Chances are because they're not going to return until um, it's actually around Christmas time or Halloween time. And our first 10 tickets basically gave us nothing. <laughs> so let's hope that... Also, the good thing is, is that in Dragalia, every time you do 10 summons, the rates go up. So I'll, I'll actually show you after the summon. So let me show you. Uh, just in case again. So as you can see, it went from 6% to 6.5%. And I'll say right now, if it gets to around, um, if it gets to around 9%, I'm going to start doing multis. Because at that point, that means there's a very good chance of getting multiple SSRs in your, in your pool. So it's kind of like, you should try and... A lot of people try and game the system. There's a lot of good ways to kind of like game the system with Dragalia. Um, and I'll say again, I have not really spent any money. For the most part, my account is free to play. The only time I ever try and buy something is when they um, specifically say like, Hey, get a free to play unit. Not to get a free to play unit. That's not the real word for it. Get a, basically choose an SSR that you want and you'll have it forever. Like, there's no must, there's no banner to pick on. You just get these diamonds, and then boom, we'll give you a free uh, 5 summon ticket, and then we'll also give you any unit you want from this list. And I feel like a deal like that is too good in any gacha. If Dokkan allowed you to basically have... It's why the, the redstone... Not the redstone, excuse me, the, um... 
the blue stone when Dokkan was so great when it was released because it's like, I can have any of these units? That's insane. But even if you don't want to pull on those things specifically, like when I did that, um, I didn't do it recently. Oh! Five. Can it be? It's a dragon. Let's see what dragon. I don't have it. So, I got Takamichizuki. There we go. It only took 17 tickets, but we got our first five. All right, not bad. And of course now we've reset completely. So now we get to start all over again as I continue to talk. There's Veronica. I should not have skipped that, but it would have been impossible <laughs> to uh, actually tell if um, I got a hype ass animation. All right, I'll check right there. No hype. Um, but as I was saying, it's very easy to play free to play Dragalia, which is why um, Dragalia is the lowest uh, in terms of what Nintendo makes out of a gacha game. I want to say it's even, it's, on day one, it didn't do as good as Dr. Mario, which is not a gacha game, it is a fucking puzzle game, so that should show you how much money I think overall Dragalia makes. I think Dragalia is fine for the most part, in terms of like, I'm not afraid of that Dragalia is going to die at any point, because one, Nintendo wants it to be this way, and also it's a completely new IP, so... And to be fair, some new IP like Epic 7 do great and do gangbusters, but it's also because they do crazy collabs. And uh, the last crazy collab that um, Dragalia had was specifically the Fire Emblem Heroes. I don't know if they'll do that one again. It would be pretty nice, though. I also got all those. But as you can see, I could say something like, I was able to get all three Fire Emblem Hero characters. And that's insane. You know, I have the uh, Fate Grand Order is about to have their summer event in about, um... Also, excuse me if I get lost there for a second. It's fucking hot, man. Holy fucking shit, do I hate the summer in California. It is so unbelievably fucking bad. I hate it so much. I would rather get tortured in my testicles than have to deal with the heat in California. And the current place that I reside in, in the place where my computer lives... There's no fucking air conditioning. I have to rely on old-fashioned fans to keep myself from not dying, which is why I went to fucking bed dehydrated two days ago, and I woke up feeling like goddamn shit, but I digress. I'm sorry. Let's get back to Dragalia. Happy thoughts. Uh, we are currently 30 tickets in, and it's looking like... No, we're not 30 tickets in. Now we're 30 tickets in. Uh, one more. And let's see how this animation plays. No hype. No hype animation there. Um, God, what the hell was I talking about? But the point is, is what I was trying to say is that for the most part, you don't have to spend crazy money to get like a stacked account. I've been playing for an extremely long time, and especially with the Gala Banner, it's just easy to get units and stuff. Obviously, I'm not showing that off right now uh, because I'm not using, my tickets aren't giving me anything really. But all these tickets that I got were free to play as well. I just saved them. Uh, oh, the thing I was going to say is that the Fate Grand Order um, summer event is going to come up, which I'm probably going to do a summon video on that just to show the differences, because God, if there's a banner that I expect to 100% completely fuck me, it's Fate Grand Order. Imagine if every single fucking banner in the gacha was, was so bad that it could make you quit that it's every single Fate Grand Order banner. It is the fucking worst. I hate it so much. I hate summoning on it. But it's really all you can do, for the most part, because you have to, you know, you have to live in the Beast domain in order to play the Beast game. And the, it, the fake Grand Order's domain is maybe the worst. I want to say on Dragalia's release, Dragalia was worse than Fate Grand Order in terms of summoning. It is now 100 times better. <laughs> There's no denying it. Because, and I've actually talked to a friend of mine about this recently, is that in Dragalia, there's, you can never have enough summon tickets and, uh, uh, Wormite to get the Gala unit that you want. Uh, and in Fate Grand Order, there's no amount of quartz that you can have to get you anything you want. So that means that no matter what banner you're facing, there's a good chance you're not going to get who they want. Because there's no amount of saving that can actually save you. There are, of course, reports of people saving close to thousands of quartz and not being able to get who they want. Uh, okay, yeah, again, no hype. We're now in 40 tickets deep. Let's see if this is going to be the five that we want. Nope, that's a three. Told you. Now let's currently see what our appearance rate is like. Because as I said, if we get to, we're getting there. 
if we get to um, 9%, yeah, 9%, then I'll, oops, I skipped that. If that would have been the five, I would have been super pissed off because I would have skipped the entire reason for doing the video. All right, that's uh, again, no hype. I'm here for the hype. I'm the hype man and I want to show hype. It's funny that as I'm uh, talking about how generous Dragalia can be, I'm completely getting fucked in the background. Uh, it's pretty funny. The last time I actually did a uh, summon banner, I got, I was able to get the Gala unit Mim, who is the best girl, and of course best unit in my heart. I was able to get her within, um, I want to say it was like 30 tickets or so. It was insane. And it was the happiest I'd ever been. And it was, she's the one unit that was like, you know, there are some units in whatever gacha you play that are like, stop, put all the stops to everything. I need this unit in my life right now. Mim is that unit to me. So much so that if the idea of a summer Mim, uh, if she was in to be in the summer banner, I don't know what the fuck I'd do. Because it's like, well... Oh. Oh, that means I have too many dragons. <laughs> it happens. Sometimes you just pull too much and you don't have room for a lot of these dragons. I'll deal with them later. That's another... No hype! Can you give me the hype? All I want is the hype right now. And you're not being very hyped. This is the hype. This is a five. That would have been so funny if there was no five. Can we get a fucking staff? No, not staff. One. No! Did I? Oh, fuck. Fine. That was the right weapon we got, but it's st Student Maribel. Student Maribel is actually extremely good. So I'm not disappointed. And she's also completely new for me. So I will take her. And that brings us our total to two... Two SSRs in 50 tickets. Not bad. That's around five multis for two dudes. Uh, that's about around what, what I can expect. Let me see. Okay. Now we're 50 in. We are halfway done with the video. So let's keep it going, huh? Um, let me tell you, I am committed to doing all 50 tickets for Cleo. Cleo is fantastic. Uh, I have not done the recent story. So I don't know if Cleo does some cool shit there, but the reason Ransel got a Galafest is because he did some cool shit in his story mode, or the story was about him, and that's the right reason he got a Gala banner. So if Cleo uh, has a Gala unit, that must mean she does something cool in the previous story. At least that's what my current thought process is. And the same thing goes for Mim. Mim turned into Super Mim uh, in the story mode, and that's why we got our current Mim. So, the circle of Mim. Uh... The other thing I was going to say is that, the funny thing is, is that, um, on the NA side, a lot of people are salty that their, their boy Luca, everyone's favorite third guy member on the team, <laughs> did not get a Galafest unit. He does the only, of the main trio, no, the main cast that is not the prince, he is the only one to not get a, um, either an alt or a new variant, because Mim has a dragon and then she also has a hyper version of that dragon and then she also has um god what was the word i was about to say and then she has her gala fest uh, version of it and cerise is i guess technically no she's not a part of the main cast so whatever but she was a first galley unit cleo has her christmas version she has a regular version and she has um the Galafest version. Renzel has, of course, his regular version and his Galafest version. And Elise has too many to fucking count. She has Elise. We have Halloween Elise. We have Bride Elise. We have, uh, and then we have Gala, uh, no, Gala does, we don't have a Gala Elise. Okay, so we have Halloween Elise, Bride Elise, regular Elise. And I think that's it. There's a lot of Elises. And you can bet your bottom fucking dollar that when summer comes up, she's getting a summer variant. That just seems the way of the world. Uh, we've been summoning so much that my legs are actually... Oh! We're about to get... We're about to get the hype. It's five. We need a wand. Come on. Damn it! That's a dagger. No! God damn it. It's fine. I already had her. <laughs> what I needed is her sister, Ramona. Um, let's get back into it. We got 37 tickets left. That brings our total up to three. Alright. Oh shit, I shouldn't have skipped. Oh right, it's fine. It ended up being a nothing anyway. So yeah, Luca, our boy Luca, is the only one who doesn't really have a extra variant, and he's also not the prince, and so people are kinda salty on the NA side 
at least in that are either female or you're really into cool dudes uh really want that luca variant and i'm just gonna say right now that as i think the people around luca are cooler than luca himself his sister is awesome um his best friend is awesome his um his two best friends that were added for the easter event are awesome oh we got a five all right sorry thanks Okay, let's see what we got. We got. Let's see what we got. It's a dragon. All right, so what dragon did we get? Ooh, Let I think we got. Is it? Oh, Freya. Fruit. Freya's new. I'll take Freya. Thank you very much for the Freya. All right, let's get back into it. We got 33 tickets left. We have used a good amount of our tickets already. Uh, close to 70%. Oh, what? I thought I had every single four. How dare you show up and make me look like a fool? So I'll consider that hype. That's pretty hype. On the hype meter, the hype is real. See that? Not hype. Not very hype at all. All right, let's get back in here. And can we get the hype? That's no hype. So let's get back into it. So does uh, Luca need a variant? Yes, he does. I just don't know when. That variant's coming or like for what context i think halloween luca would be pretty cool because i think his um warm print with ranzel is actually pretty cool so you know i'll definitely there's spot in everyone's heart for a male version of a galifest unit you know there's ladies out there who like hot dudes and there's dudes who like hot dudes so why can't we get more dudes and you know on my part i think hot dudes can be pretty cool i prefer uh, oh, I think we're getting a five. Find out what kind of dudes I like after this. Okay, come on. Is it? Yeah, it's a dragon, so we're fine. Uh, what the fuck are you? Oh, you're, um, Nyarhalept. Nyarhalept. Okay. 26 seconds. 25 tickets left. We are over 75% done with this video. I forgot to skip. Uh, also on the rate, Nyarhalept is pretty hype, and... The kind of dudes I would like to see in Dragalia are the kind of dudes that they'll never add. Uh, which is a little bit more on the funky side. Not like smoking hot, which is I think unfortunate. I think it's actually, it's similar to uh, Janako in Fate Grand Order where I think Janako is very cute, but she also doesn't fit with how every other female looks. So that's kind of what I want for males. But if the female version of that is hard to get into the game, then the male version is hard as well. It's funny because in gacha games, if you're a guy who likes pulling really cool dudes, it's actually extremely tough for you because most gachas are run on the idea of waifus. And for the most part, I'm fine with that. Like, I don't... I'm not going to be, like, up in arms if there's not a lot of cool dudes at the start. But I will say when a cool... When a dude is cool, and you can see him's cool. Oh! That's hype! I didn't even know we were about to get it. Let's see, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Wait! Damn it! Lily, you goddamn troll. That was the weapon we needed. <laughs> okay, fine. I would say, so in... Oh, shit, man. Are we really gonna do back-to-back -back this? You bet don't do this to my goddamn heart, please. Give me... Give me Galaclea. It's another dragon. So let's see what dragon it is. It is Agni. I already have, I think... No, I don't have a perfect uh, Agni. So we have 19 tickets left. Almost done with the video, I swear. Let's get going. That's not hype. We're skipping the non-hype shit. Uh, so yeah. Gotchas is tough. Like, in, and it's hard to be a gotcha character when you're not sexy. You know what I'm saying? Which is the same thing I feel like with Dokkan, which is the trouble. Like, is it cool that Legends added, for example, Android uh, 13 Trucker? Yes. But why is it cool? Because he's not sexy. So you'd never want actual Android 13 because Android 13 doesn't have any fucking fans in the world. And so he's an ugly motherfucker, but it's cool that an ugly motherfucker was given the spotlight. Here's the problem. All these games are based off of money, and if the ugly motherfucker can't bring home the bacon, then guess what? They're never going to do stuff like that again. So they have to bank on the fact either we make the unit extremely good, or I don't know what, but it's very hard to like... And also, uh, I'm specifically using the term ugly motherfucker for Android 13. Don't take that to mean the same thing for... But you get it. Un unsexy. Unsexy is the correct word. 
He's not an ugly motherfucker. I take that back. I'm sorry, Android 13. Your trucker hat is very good. Um, it's just not sexy. And so, you need sexy stuff to sell your gotcha. Which is why Dokkan has nonstop uh, Gokus and Vegetas. Because they know that regardless of how many fans fucking bitch about how, like, oh man, it's another Goku and Vegeta. The second that the unsexy man Good Piccolo shows up and is like, hello everyone, would you like to pull on me? Everyone goes, oh no, where's Goku and Vegeta? We want him. We want, we want units, <laughs> we want another Super Vegito or Gogeta, which is just these two characters that constantly get refed to us together in one. It's insane to me. And so I don't feel, I feel sorry for all gacha makers really for, um, what they have to do because it's very hard out there to balance the sexy with the unsexy and i just feel like there's room in everyone's hearts for both can't the sexy and the unsexy live together in perfect harmony can the hype and the unhype live together the answer is no can we end this on some hype come on i really hope that uh okay let's go in here no let's uh Again, some more, some more not hype. Only five tickets. This is the last tickets, my friends. Let's get in here. I will say that if, um, depending on how high my, um, my appearance rate is, I might actually just, uh, use some of my worm print to kill the appearance so I can never stop thinking like, oh, what if, what if, what could have happened? Four tickets. Some more on hype. Okay, and that's no hype. That's no hype at all. It's a shame. Another one. Can this be hype? The answer is no. <laughs> Two left. Can we at least end it on a perfect... Ah, oh, you bastard. You absolute assholes. You couldn't have waited for the last... I'll forgive it if it's clear. Is it Cleo? No, it's not Cleo. It's, um... Who the fuck are you? Oh, oh you're, uh, Aoi. She was one of the bright units. Alright. And let's use our last ticket. This is not gonna buff the appearance rate at all. I obviously should be saving it, but I promised the video it would be 100. If it wasn't 100, then I feel like I'd be lying. And literally, it's the same unit, but her red version. Alright, and that's it. Well, I wasn't able to get uh, Cleo this time, but you know, overall I'm okay with it because again, like I said, I got Mim, and as much as I really want Cleo, uh, I really have to save these for uh, summer. And man, look at all the fucking dude ones I have. To protect those I love. Over here, man, that's ridiculous. So let's see, what did we, in what was basically five multis, what did we get? We got two dupes, I have gained the power uh, three dragons, and I believe I three love. adventurers, and the two dupes were obviously dead regardless. So I'd say overall five multis got me plenty of people, plenty of people I didn't have, and only two real uh, dead bummers, just so to say. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this summon video and me talking so really weirdly about sexy things and unsexy things. Uh, leave what you think gets you hyped for, you know, summoning. Uh, do you prefer the strange? Do you prefer the sexy, as I said before? Or do you prefer the unsexy? Please leave your thoughts if you have some thoughts about it. I don't know how many people are watching this uh, summer video, but whatever. If you got thoughts, leave them below, down below. Again, if you liked uh, me doing this summon here, which was a crazy summon because it took fucking forever, uh, please leave a like or something. And that'll be it for me. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video, whatever it might be. Goodbye.